Hey everybody, welcome back to Kel on Earth. Um, I'm actually home from traveling and have just washed and conditioned my hair. And as I'm unpacking my bag, I thought it'd be great to give a quick uh, list of my top seven uh, tips for natural girls when traveling. So um, let's get started. So number one, I, I'm not much of a of a, a checked bag person. I used to be. I used to be routinely the girl at the ticket counter, like putting on an extra sweatshirt <laughs> or shuffling between bags to save that like $60 that Delta used to charge for anything over 50 pounds or whatever it was. Once I started traveling more for work, I eased out of it. And if, if I'm traveling for less than 10 days or so, I tend not to um, pack a bag. But for those that do, my tip is uh, whatever product you're taking, tape it down tape the, however it comes out, tape around, tape it down, and then put it into a larger bag that you can zip up. And then in your suitcase, you know, that zipper area where people tend to put shoes, I typically will put items in there. That way I feel like if it spills, it's a little bit more contained, uh, both with the tape, with the bag, and then being in a compartment. And then anything that I put on that side will be shoes or anything less precious that if it's ruined, um, I wouldn't cry. Um, my second tip is to plan. You know, know the weather where you're going, know how long you're gonna be there, and start out with the plan. So mine, um, this recently I was gone for about 15 days. So I did my braid out at home and my plan was to be in the braids for about four or five of those days. And then my braid out five to eight or however long my hair would be nice to me. And then once that was a wrap to go into a ponytail and ride that to the end of the trip. And that's exactly how it went. So have a plan, don't get to your location, get to your hotel and then decide you're gonna spend the night um, washing your hair braiding it out you may have terrible um, water pressure in your shower it may be broken um, the the airline may lose your bag and then you don't have your products or nowhere to go so have a plan also check your around your hotel to find out what's close to you maybe you don't need to pack all of your items if it's something where you need an entire bottle of something Buy it when you get there. Maybe you can walk across the street to the CVS or the Dwayne Reed and pick up items there just to help you not overpack. Um, my third is my travel bottles. So I've invested in these. They, they ran from maybe $2 to $4 at a store named Chamberlain's, which is basically like a natural food market that I found in Orlando. But I'm sure they have them everywhere. And, and here is the daily mist that I talk about all the time. So this much water, this much aloe vera, a couple of drops of tea tree oil, and then whatever oil you have. I love avocado oil, but you can use olive oil from your kitchen, sesame, the oil, whatever you have. And this is good for your hair and your body. So I always have this with me. This is, I keep my, I take my pills in this one. I actually meant to grab this one, which has my gel, my Ampro brown gel that I'll never give up. So I always have that with me. And then here is um, my avocado oil. So I use this as my lotion and can also um, moisturize my scalp. So trying to condense the products that I need and keeping them in something that works for a carry-on. Again, if I need if you need any more than this, then maybe you can buy it when you're on location. Number four, your protective style. So again, mine was my braid out with my little caps that I always have. I, I've shown these on camera so much, I'm starting to realize how desperately I need new ones. But these are my jams when I'm traveling and I'm in my braid out. And then of course I can get fancy with like one braid out with the curl before I'm ready to take the rest of it down. Um, number five is your tools. Make sure you have, again, like the, the caps. And then also I carry um, my bobby pins and clips. I just put them back on like the little um, card that they came on. And then I keep a couple of safety pins. But keep all these things close and with you so that you're able to pin and tuck. Maybe you have to go from a braid out to glory rolls really quick. Maybe you need to get some Bantu knots going, but have what you need with you. And then also my favorite, like my turbo twist. This is really great. I stayed once in a hotel that had the super oversized 
towels, and then little washcloths. So there was nothing that was really comfortable for me to tie my hair with and do the rest of the stuff that I wanted to do in the room before it was time to like do my hair. So this makes it easy. You tie it up and then you're hands free. So I take this everywhere. I love it. Um, and then lastly, I, was that seven? I hope that was seven. Lastly, find a stylist in your area. Find if, if, shit hits the fan and it's not working for you and you have to get your hair done nowhere to go call someone and say i'm coming into town i may not need to come and see you but i just wanted to chat with you about your specialties and your prices and your hours and then that way you have a default and when it's starting to look bad or starting to look like oh my braid out's not gonna last until that meeting I'm gonna have to figure something out. Then you can reach back out to that person and say, hey, we talked, I actually do wanna come see you, do you have tomorrow? And there's some sort of relationship they understand and you've got someone close. And true number seven is whenever you find these um, to-go or mini packets, these sample size packets, you know, I started collecting these because these are easy to grow, throw in my bag. Most Hotels have shampoo and conditioners that I find are fine for one or two nights, but I can also carry these with me and so that I don't have to go and buy a full um, a full size shampoo and conditioner that I'm not going to take back with me or I don't have to take one with me that I'm not going to use all of it and then be paying for um, that in luggage fees. So look for these at your beauty supply stores. When they give them in samples, ask your beauty supply store, do you have any samples? And they usually have two or three of these that they'll throw in your bag and you can collect these. And it's also a great way to test a product that you may not have ever wanted to invest in fully to see if you like it. So those are my top seven tips. I'm gonna watch this back and make sure that I gave you guys seven. Uh, thank you so much. Please comment, share your thoughts. What are your tips? What would you tell a natural girl to do, to have, to make sure she does before she gets on the road for a business trip or other travel? Thanks so much, guys. See you soon.